Welcome back to Think Thrice. Today we're going to be solving a fun geometry problem. So let's take a look at this. So what we have here is we have a blue square that we create inside of our black square. And we do this with a few line segments, just four line segments. And we're given that the blue square's area is equal to one half the area of the total square. So our goal is to find out what the total area, or what the angle is, that's made between our uh, new lines and the sides of our square. So if you'd like to give this a shot, go ahead and pause the video and try it out for yourself. Otherwise, we can go ahead and work through our solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to define a few variables. So we're going to define B as the side of uh, the inside square. Uh, without loss of generality for our problem, I'm going to say that the length of my outer edge is going to be equal to 1. So we're just looking at proportional differences in areas, so we can set this to be pretty much whatever we want. And then the third variable I'm going to define is the distance from the corner of our inside square to the corner of the outside square, and I'm going to call that C. So we notice that over here we have C um, is uh, C plus B is going to be the distance from that same corner of the inside square to the opposite side of the outside square, or the opposite corner of the outside square. So what we're going to do first is we're going to note that the uh, area of the inside square is going to be B squared. And we know that that is equal to one half the area of the outside square, which is one squared. So that tells us right off the bat that b is equal to one over the square root of two. And we can see that it must be positive one over square root of two because it's defined as a length. We can then use the Pythagorean theorem to say that c squared plus the side length b plus c squared has to be equal to 1. We can rewrite that as c squared plus c squared plus 2bc plus b squared is equal to 1. But we already know b, so this is going to be 2c squared plus 2c over square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of 2 squared is equal to 1. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides to make this minus 1 half equal to 0. Okay, now I can use the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to have that c is equal to uh, negative b, so negative 2 over square root of 2, which is just negative square root of 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which will end up being 2, minus 4ac. So 4ac, that's 4 times 2 times negative 1 half. So that's 4. That's going to be plus divided by 2 times a, which is going to give us 4. This whole thing, when I work it out, is then going to give me the square root of uh, negative square root of 2 plus or minus the square root of 6 divided by 4. I know that the side length has to be positive, so that's going to tell us that I'm going to have to use the plus here. So c is going to be square root of 6 minus square root of 2 divided by 4. All right. So we're looking pretty good at this point. I have my length of C, and I have my length of B. So now I can take either the arc tangent, the arc sine, or the arc cosine to get the angle here. So if I look at uh, my angle, I can see that theta is going to be equal to arc sine of our opposite side, which is the length side c, so it's square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4, divided 
by our hypotenuse, which is just the side of our bigger square, which is 1. So we're going to arc sine of square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. And we can see that this is going to be pi over 12 in radians or 15 degrees. And that is our solution. So thank you very much for working through this problem with me today. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. If you have your own problem that you'd like to see me work through, please submit it and I can work through it in a future video. Otherwise, have a great day and think thrice.